Hi, thanks for joining me on our controlling cost tutorial. Uh, we're going to go through the three types of costs that make up your project, as well as how to manage your resources, expenses and reporting costs. So on your project you have resource costs, your actual task costs and expenses. So let's go first to your task costs. So here on my project under the task page you'll see there's a planned cost column and an actual cost column. If these aren't showing for you of course you just click on the uh, title bar and here you can select to show those columns. These are entered by you so you would enter the planned cost for each of your tasks could enter those directly here and then the actual cost of that task as it occurs. You can see down the bottom of my task information pane I can also enter the planned cost and the actual cost in these fields down here and they'll be updated directly uh, on my plan as well. So the second type of uh, cost on your project is an expense. Now if you go to the expenses tab here, of course save your project with any changes you've made, uh, you jump to the expenses here, you may have set these up already, they are individual expenses for your project. Uh, you see some examples here, contractor costs, uh, you can of course create a recurring expense so you might have a lease for a piece of equipment. You can also amortize the cost of an expense across the length of your project. And these you simply create by clicking create new, adding the details, uh, giving it a type which you can customize, add as many types as you like. And if you want to assign this to a task, you simply select task and then that will bring up a list of all my tasks on my project and I can select which one to assign it to. So you see here they all are. So we'll close that and go back to the task page and obviously probably the biggest expense on your project are your resources and the cost of resources is of course made up by the hours that they work and uh, their hourly rate times that, so times effort times hourly rate. And you'll see here on my tasks I have actual effort. Again, this can be manually entered by you directly into the task or if your users are entering timesheets or if you're entering them on your resources behalf, that information will flow through to your task page. As well as if you use the My Home page, you can also enter your, ta your effort per task directly here. So I can add 50 hours effort directly to this train users task and that will update on my plan. If we have a look at resources under the All tab, you see that each of them has a default hourly rate that is used. You see it's here. You can change this at any time. That will apply to any reporting you pull on your project. As well as if you leave it blank, then your project default hourly rate will apply. So if all of your resources are going to cost the same amount, um, you might just enter that amount at the Project Info tab. Let's have a look at the project dashboard to see what uh, that budget, planned and actual reporting looks like. So you see that's under the cost graph here, uh, which I keep on the right hand side. So we keep on the right hand side over, you can see my budget here. When I hover over it tells me the budget, my overall budget for the project, which of course you can change uh, on your info page. Next is my planned cost for the project and that's made up of my planned resource costs so that's my the hourly rate for each of my resources times the planned effort for each of my tasks and the other portion of that planned cost is my planned task cost so that's again an, a, um, a field that you would enter yourself so it takes those two together and creates the total planned cost for your project uh, and of course that's a cost to date, uh, this report is live and is at today's date. And then the last uh, bar of course is actuals, so this is made up of three areas, expenses that we entered as well as your actual costs against your task and your actual resource costs, so that's actual effort times the hourly rate for your resources. And of course for more detailed information you would go to the uh, financial reporting area which is under all and reports and here if you go to the expenses area you can pull a report of all your expenses costs and uh, planned costs select the project and we'll view it on screen 
Now this report shows me at a high level my total budget, actual expenses and of course planned expenses. And as I scroll down the report you'll see there's much more detailed information here. I have my actual expenses, so I see there I've got a couple of uh, recurring monthly expenses as well as the actual task costs, the name of the task and the start and finish date and of course again the actual cost against each of those tasks. There are my actual resource costs, so the effort against uh, each of those resources, their hourly rate is displayed, and the total. And then down the bottom are the planned costs, so what I planned each of those tasks to cost, as well as my planned effort uh, and resource cost there. So this report very handy and you can simply click on the little icon here to export it to Excel PDF for Word if you view it on screen and then want to uh, export a copy of it. With all of that information completed for your projects, when you go to your portfolio dashboard here under the All tab, you can view your uh, the financial status of all of your projects, their budgets, their planned cost and their tracking actuals to date here on the cost graph and of course uh, as always you can click straight through to the uh, information on that project just by hovering over it and then clicking uh, on the icon. So we've covered the three cost types of resource costs, task costs and expenses. I've shown you how to create an expense, how to enter task costs both planned and actual and uh, pull reports to view that information. If you've got any questions at all please contact us in the support team.